So very good morning to all the students of class 9th D. Uh, yes, Peter. We are going to revise direct indirect speech, that is reported speech or narration as well. Okay. All the names are like you synonyms of each other. So we will be firstly from beginning onwards, like from level A, we will start. Okay. A direct and indirect speech. Please be there because I will ask you questions in between also, those who have joined. If you leave in between, I will not be marking you present. So what is direct speech and what is indirect speech? The word spoken by a person can be reported in two ways, direct and indirect. When we quote the exact words spoken by a person, when then we call it a direct speech. Sohan said to Mohan, I am going to school. See, Sohan, you know, used these words, I'm going to school. And... Uh, Exactly, we have used these words which are spoken by the speaker himself or herself. Fine, then it is called direct speech. The exact words are to be put up in the inverted commas. Fine. But when we uh, wait, but when we give the substance of what Sohan said, it is called indirect speech. Substance means when we give idea of or what we quote in our own words, ki isne aise bola tha. Fine, hum ye nahi bolenge ki I am going to school. He said that he was going to school. So when we give the substance by using the pronouns, by changing the tense and everything, we convert that in, into our own words, then it is known as indirect speech. Fine. Now you should, ye uh, sabko clear ho gaya beta? What is direct speech and what is indirect speech? Is it clear? Fine, now let's see what is reporting close and what is reported speech. Sohan told Mohan that he was going to school. The words which generally come before the inverted commas are called reporting clause. Sohan said to Mohan and the verb said is called the reporting verb. The words spoken by Sohan and put within inverted commas are called reported speech. Aapko bas simple language mein yaad rakhna hai. The words which are within inverted commas, jo inverted commas ke beech mein hai, they are called reported speech. Kyunki wo speech hai kisi ki, kisi ne kuch bol hai. What is speech? The words uttered by someone. So which are within the inverted commas, that is reported speech. Jo inverted comma se pehle hai, fine. That is known as reporting clause aur usko hum reporting verb bhi keh dete hai. Both are same, okay? So reporting verb or reporting clause, agar my word use karu, this phrase, it means whatever is written before inverted commas, okay? Or within inverted commas, jo likha hai, that is reported speech. Is it clear? Step two is clear to you all. Keep on sending me feedback. Step one, direct and direct speech, dekha humne kya hota hai? Step two, humne dekha what is reporting verb and what is reported speech, okay? Now, third thing is, we are going to see the basic rules for changing direct speech into indirect speech. Ab jo direct words hai, when we convert them into indirect words, what are the rules which are applicable? First of all, no inverted commas. Hame inverted commas remove kar de, okay, in the answer. Then after that, the conjunctions if, whether are generally used. Fine. So after removing inverted commas, what we will do to join the two phases of the sentence, we will be using conjunction that, if, whether, etc. So ye basically ye theme cheeze hi use hoti hai, that, if, or, whether. That to bohut commonly used hota hai. If or whether, interrogative sentences ki cases mein use hoti hai. I guess you know that, okay? The first word of the Reported speech begins with a capital letter. Clear? Next is tense of the reporting verb is never changed. Very important rule. What is reporting verb? Jo inverted comma se pehle hai. Like Rahul said. Rahul says. Rahul will say. Kuch bhi ho bahar. Before inverted commas. You will not change that tense, okay? We have to change the tense of what is written within inverted commas. Is that clear? Which is written within inverted commas, uska tense change hoga. Whatever is written before inverted commas, uska tense change nahi ho sakta. 
Next is the reporting verb changes according to the sense. Fine. So you have to perceive that whatever is written before in what it commas that you have to use told, asked, inquired, fine, said, etc. That depends upon the again what is there inside the inverted commas. Okay. वो आपको इजीली पता लग जाता है. There is no need to worry about that. Is it clear? सबको basic rules clear हो गए सबको? These basic rules are clear. Send me thumbs up. Jaldi se. Keep on giving me feedback. I, I should know that you people are listening to me. Very good. Very good. Very good, Divya. Very good, Jia. Very good. Fine. So most of you are listening. Bhavansh is also. Rules for change of pronouns. Now, how to change pronouns? I changes to me. Fine. ये सारे प्रोनाउंस चेंज होते हैं हमने आपके बेटा ग्रामर बुक में टेबल दिया हुआ है दैट यू हैव टू लर्न आई मी माय वी अस आवर इन द रिपोर्टेड स्पीच अकॉर्डिंग टू द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब द प्रोनाउंस ऑफ द सेकंड पर्सन यू योर योरसेल्फ इन द रिपोर्टेड स्पीच चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब द प्रोनाउंस ऑफ द थर्ड पर्सन डू नॉट चेंज फाइन दिस सी ही सेड यहां से एग्जाम्पल आपको क्लियर होगी ये रूल्स को आप रहने दो यू जस्ट लुक हियर ही सेड आई लाइक द बुक ही सेड दैट ही लाइक द बुक सो हाउ टू चेंज द प्रोनाउंस दे आर से वी हैव टू चेंज द प्रोनाउंस अकॉर्डिंग टू द वट इज देयर इन द रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब अगेन अगर यहाँ पे ही है फाइन तो यहाँ पे भी ही आएगा इफ हेयर इज शी देन हेयर विल बी शी फाइन इफ एनी नेम इज रिटर्न इफ इट्स अ बॉयज नेम हेयर राहुल सेड दैट He liked the book accordingly. Things will be mentioned. Fine. He said to me, "Do you like the book?" He asked me if I like the book. अब यहाँ पे I क्यों है? Fine, because to me is written here. Because the question was posed to you. He said to me, "Do you like the book?" He asked me if I liked the book. अब यहाँ पे हमने he भी लगाया. Pronoun depends upon again what is here. Okay. He said he likes the book. He said that he liked the book. Here he will uh, remain the same. Okay. So pronouns also it is very easy for you all to judge it that which pronoun is to be used. Is it clear to you all? Shall I move forward? Yes. Very good. Changes in words expressing nearness, time, auxiliaries, etc. Now the words you know which express uh, uh, nearness or the position of the thing or time etc. They change. Now this changes to that. Again, there is one table in your grammar book that you have to learn that which cha word changes into another word. This, that, there, those, now, then. Here, there, today, that day, tomorrow, the next day, yesterday, the previous day, last night, the previous night, can, could, all the models, you know, can, may, shall, will, they take their past form only. Always remember, can changes to could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, ago, before, just then, come, go. So that again, you have to learn. Very important aspect is change of the tenses. सबसे important aspect ये ही है. Rest of the things you do easily. Fine. So this is the very major aspect which tense changes into another. Simple present changes to simple past. They have given one beautiful example side by side as well. Simple present is right. Simple past is we too. मीन्स यहाँ पे आप लिख लो आपकी जो बुक है यू कैन राइट साइड बाय साइड इफ यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम इन रिकॉलिंग कौन सा टेंस है वी वन चेंजेस टू वी टू हेयर सो वी वन मीन्स वर्क की फर्स्ट फॉर्म वी टू मीन्स सेकेंड फॉर्म सिंपल पास्ट प्रेजेंट प्रोग्रेसिव मीन्स प्रेजेंट कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंस इज एम आर वी वन प्लस आई एन जी इज एम आर चेंजेस टू बॉज वर्क बॉज वर्क प्लस वी वन प्लस आई एन जी प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट चेंजेस टू पास परफेक्ट आप देखो कि कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग है Corresponding means simple present, simple past me. Sim present continuous, past continuous. Me progressive, but a continuous. Who is saying? Okay, present continuous, past continuous. 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 Present continuous, past continu
प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट पास्ट परफेक्ट तो जो जो उसके एडजेसेंट आते हैं सेम वी सो प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट में क्या लगता है हैज प्लस वी थ्री फाइन वर्क की थर्ड फॉर्म यू विल जस्ट चेंज हैज इन टू हैड बाकी सब सेम है दिस इज तो वेरी इजी टेंस परफेक्ट टेंस बहुत ईजी होता है सिंपल पास्ट ना सपोज सेकेंड फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ब लगी हो पहले वी टू लगाओ then that changes to past perfect that is had plus v3 so whenever it will be v2 you will change it into had plus v3 then past progressive changes to past perfect progressive was were had been v1 plus ing theek hai past continuous kya hota hai was were plus v1 plus ing so you will be changing that into had been plus v1 plus ing clear is that clear change of tense is clear to you all okay very good please learn this rule if the direct speech expresses a historical fact a universal truth or a habitual action or fact then tense of the direct speech will not change if universal truth kya hota hai sun rises in the east earth revolves around the sun so these are the facts which you cannot change is universal phenomena hai find some historical fact hai find a place uh, if um, taj will be there in the agra only it will not change so there are many historical facts there are many universal truths and there is very much habitual actions are also there that habitual action is that i get up early in the morning fine that is one habit so in that case tense of the direct speech will not change aapko jo andar tense jo change karna hota hai fir wo nahi karna padega in case such things will be there he said honesty is the best policy he said that honesty is the best policy no need of change of the tense he said the sun rises in the east ab aap yahan pe ye to kar nahi sakte he said the sun rose in the east theek hai because this is universal phenomena wo roz hi aayega it will be same it will not change so he said that sun rises in the east that makes your work easier okay is case mein aapka kaam aur easy ho gaya rakesh said that i am an early riser this is a habitual action Rake said that he is an early riser. God is omnipresent means God is wherever uh, at every place he is present. Teacher said the first world war. This is historical fact. Okay. So these historical facts, habitual actions, and universal phenomena will not change. In that tense, same रहेगा. Is it clear to you all? Shall I move forward? because we are revising so that's why i am asking you all again and again yes very good when you respond that give me clarification now let's come to your practical aspect in your syllabus what is written statements interrogatives fine reported speech imperatives so basically see said to is changed to told अगर कहीं पे रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब सेड टू है तो दैट विल बी चेंजिंग टू टोल भैया बस इतना ही मैंने अभी सारे नहीं आपको रूल्स डिस्कस करने इसमें से देर आर जस्ट एग्जांपल्स गिवन वेरी इजी वंस रामू सेड आई सॉ अ लॉयन इन द फॉरेस्ट रामू सेड दैट ही हैड सीन अ लॉयन इन द फॉरेस्ट दे हैव चेंज्ड द टेंस एज पर वी टू चेंजेस टू हैड प्लस वी थ्री uh i am very happy he was very happy there here changes to there so on the basis of the rules we have read they have changed to aapko itna simple wala to aana nahi hai fine aapke syllabus mein kya hai basically this is the thing isko karne ke liye we had to revise the previous things theek hai so this is the basic thing please have a look and please note it down as well it is there in your book no doubt but isko bahut acche se revise karna hai reporting verb say is changed into ask or enquire interrogative sentences changed into a statement by placing the subject before the verb 
always remember this thing when you get interrogative sentence what is interrogative sentence raise your hands i asked a very simple question interrogative sentence is the sentence yes divya interrogative sentence is the sentence uh, which asks questions yes which asks questions so whenever a question based sentences will be there we have to convert them into a statement by placing the subject before the verb hame us question ko statement banana hai okay you need not write it as it is the way it was written so we have to change it into a statement by placing the subject before the verb फाइन और क्या करेंगे उसका उसका क्वेश्चन मार्क हटा देंगे वी विल रिमूव इट्स क्वेश्चन मार्क एंड वी विल प्लेस अ फुल स्टॉप एट द एंड ऑफ द सेंटेंस ओके इफ द इंटरोगेटिव सेंटेंस हैज अ डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड कौन कौन से हु वेन वेर हाउ वाई एक्सेट्रा <coughs> then wh word is repeated in the sentence it serves as a conjunction we will see to it jab aap iski example karoge tab aapko aur clarify ho jayega if the interrogative sentence is a yes no what they are saying is they are saying ki if interrogative sentences kaise ke honge questions two types of first category of question will be that in which question will be asked to you in which answer will be either yes or no if i ask you okay let me ask one question chaliye main poochti hu jia do you like coffee jia yes ma'am see ab is question ka answer ya to yes aayega ya to no aayega fine so in such questions in which we will get answers either yes or no in that case we will be using if or whether okay <coughs> if or whether ki usage wahi pe honi hai jis question ka answer yes or no mein hai okay okay ji yeah tell me which do you prefer uh, which drink do you prefer Yes do you prefer coffee or tea I prefer sprite Okay you prefer sprite are uh, you prefer uh, okay i was asking coffee you, okay you pre, you gave the answer so i'm just asking the question to make sure that if answer will you can mute yourself beta i am asking so that it will be clear to you if i ask such question in which there is no yes or no in which the person has to speak and give the answer us type mein aap kya karoge ye wo hai i ask na what do you prefer So she said that I prefer Sprite. So in that cases, what you will do, uh, the WH word is repeated. Means, वही word use होगा. I asked Jia what she preferred. Fine. अब what को मैंने when नहीं कर दिया या what को मैंने why नहीं कर दिया. और if or whether भी नहीं लगाया. Fine. It means whatever word I'm using, whatever word is used in the question. ठीक है? जो भी डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड क्वेश्चन से स्टार्ट हुआ है जिसका आंसर यू नीड टू स्पीक एंड गिव फाइन इन दैट सेम वर्ड विल बी यूज दैट वर्ड विल बी रिपीटेड इन द सेंटेंस इट सर्व एज अ कंजंक्शन और उसमें कोई और कंजंक्शन नहीं लगेगी क्लियर इफ वेदर दैट एक्सेट्रा यूज नहीं होगा ये वर्ड ही अपने आप में कंजंक्शन है क्लियर See if the interrogative sentence is a yes no answer type sentence then auxiliary verbs <clears throat> then if or whether is used as a conjunction means whenever a question starts with do does did in a positive question in the reported are dropped you have to write it as an answer only let's do the examples then it will be more clear to you all i said to him where are you going i asked him where he was going full stop Ab, see this. We have not changed this word where. What we have done, said to ko change kar diya. Asked me because this is the question. Told nahi aayega. Okay. I asked him. Fine. Right? 
वेयर रिमेन्स वेयर ओनली इसको चेंज नहीं कर सकते वेयर एंड प्रोनाउन वी हैव टू चेंज एज पर दिस वेयर ही वॉज गोइंग टेंस वैसे ही चेंज होगा द वे वी हैव डन ओके एंड यू हैव टू रिमूव दिस क्वेश्चन मार्क एंड यू हैव टू पुट अ फुल स्टॉप नाउ सी द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन बेटा सेकेंड क्वेश्चन है ही सेट टू मी विल यू गो देर इसका आंसर क्या होगा यस और नो फाइन विल यू गो देर यस और नो में आंसर होगा इसका सो ही आस्ट मी इफ आई वुड गो देर इफ और वेदर बोथ आर करेक्ट चाहे यहाँ पे वेदर लगा दो चाहे इफ लगा दो बट इट शुड बी देर ही आस्ट मी इफ Now, if तक रुक गए आगे बिकॉज इट्स क्वेश्चन इज पोज टू यू इसलिए यहाँ पे प्रोनाउन आया स्टेटमेंट ओनली यू हैव नॉट टू मेक इट अवेशन फुल स्टॉप एंड यू मूव इट यास्ट मी इफ आई वुड गो देयर माई फ्रेंड सेट टू दीपक हैव यू एवर बीन टू आगरा माई फ्रेंड आस्ड दीपक इफ ही हैड एवर बीन टू आगरा फुल स्टॉप is that clear beta how to do these interrogative sentences because you lose marks here only <coughs> excuse me sir because you are able to do the simple sentences very easily when it comes to interrogative you lose marks so please dhyan se ye wala kar le i said to him did you enjoy the movie i asked him if he had enjoyed the movie तो वही रहेगा ना डेड चेंजेस टू पास्ट प्लस वी थ्री डेड सेकेंड फॉर्म है ना बेटा यू हैव टू यू नो क्रैम द रूल्स ऑफ टेंस चार्ट जो था वी टू चेंजेस टू हैड प्लस वी थ्री वी वन चेंजेस टू दिस एंड ऑल सो दैट चार्ट यू हैव टू लर्न ओनली देन यू विल बी एबल टू मेक द चेंजेस अदरवाइज दे विल बी ऑफ नो यूज आई सेट टू हर डू यू नो हिम आई आस्ड हर इफ शी न्यू हिम राइट फर्स्ट फॉर्म चेंजेस टू सेकेंड फॉर्म दैट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर और इसका आंसर यस नो में होता है येस आई नो नो आई डू नॉट नो सो दैट्स वाई वी हैव यूज इफ हिम ही सेट टू मी विल यू लिसन टू मी ही आस्ड मी इफ आई वुड लिसन टू हिम आई सेट टू हिम वेन वेन विल यू गो देर आई आस्ड हिम वेन ही वुड गो देर He said to me, How is your father? He asked me, How my father was. He said to me, "Are you happy?" अब इसका आंसर क्या है? Yes or no? I asked him if he was happy. Full stop. Okay. Always remember question mark to remove, full stop to be written in uh, yes or no, if or whether, and otherwise same uh, wh word. He said to her, "Do you like apples?" He asked her if she liked apples. Is that clear to you all? How to attempt interrogative sentences? Now we are going to. shift there on commands and requests it is again mentioned on in your syllabus beta ki aapke interrogative and these imperative sentences what are imperative sentences chahe requests or commands likha ho chahe imperative this is a kind of same thing so imperative sentences are those sentences in which either any order is given or any command or any request is made fine if any request is made if any order is given a command is made so accordingly these sentences are called imperative sentence if i say go out shut the door please give me a glass of water so in that case fine these are called imperative sentences Fine. Now, what we have to do? The imperative mood is changed into infinitive mood by putting to before the verb. What is infinitive here? We have to use to. Fine. We have to change this imperative into infinitive by adding to into it. But सबको इतना याद रखना है. Very simple. She said to me, "Open the window." Fine. So this is an order, na? then you will be using the word order she ordered me aage aapko kya karna hai imperative ko infinitive bana dena hai to add karke she ordered me to open the window full stop the captain said to soldiers attack the enemy ye bhi command hai 
the captain commanded the soldiers to attack the enemy i said to him leave this place at once yahan pe ordered bhi aa sakta tha i ordered him to leave the that place at once the teacher said to the student listen to me attentively again the teacher aaj yahan pe request nahi hai ye the teacher ordered the students to listen to him attentively the teacher asked the students both are correct the principal said to the peon ring the bell the principal ordered the peon to ring the bell very easy the master said to the servant fetch me a glass of water fetch means to bring the master ordered the servant to fetch him a glass of water now this is request i said to him please bring me a glass of water i requested him to bring me a glass of water i said to my friend please lend me your book again it's a request i requested my friend to lend me his book again this is very easy if you concentrate okay imperative sentences are clear to you all yes children today see i am not asking you any questions because i was into revising now when you will be coming uh, to school on monday i will be giving you unsolved exercises i will be writing on the board and you will solve it so i will not revise it again make sure okay so it will be kind of on the spot test you can say of uh, interrogative sentences and uh, imperative sentences commands requests and all and passage will be given to you not the single sentences so let's have a look at the solved exercise he said i will do it now he said that he would do it then fine will changes to would i changes to he here now changes to then he says honesty is the best policy he says that honesty is the best policy who will tell me why there is no change in this why there is no change in the tense in this sentence raise your hands only two students are raising hand what about others very easy it is okay riyanshika speak man because it is a universal fact yes it is universal phenomena or you can say this is some rule or whether when we talk about universal principles habitual actions and such kind of things then there is no change in the tense ramesh says that he has written a letter she said mahesh will be reading a book she said that mahesh would be reading a book will be changes to would be she said where is your father she inquired where his father was now please look at this sentence very carefully because most of the sentence uh, students what they do they think that i have to change is into was where ka where rahega to wo aise likh dete she inquired where was his father no you are not supposed to write it like that please have a look she inquired where his father uh, was or where her father was also both both correct for was will be written at end and full stop he requested me to take my book the principal said to the pian let this boy go out the principal ordered the pian to let that boy go out to let remain the same he said to me may you live long it is a wish it is a pray for someone prayer hai he prayed that i might live long okay in case it is a prayer by someone then you will be writing prayed he prayed that i might live long she said goodbye friends ab goodbye bidding goodbye kehte hai na usko so she bid goodbye to her friends in a very simple way the students said alas i wasted my time last year the students so alas word is showing that it is a regret so ye teeno sentences ko dhyan se dekhiye the students regretted that he had wasted his time the previous year i hope i am clear to you all yes students concept of direct indirect speech we have revised thoroughly from beginning till the concept which is there and we have done integrated grammar also but on monday we will be revising 
direct indirect speech paragraph wise find the way it is there in your syllabus okay